you guys happy Friday it's around 1130 um, this is my shiny moisturized face that's on screen you guys that's on screen it keeps me young but I also look like a fried chicken um, today's not a happy day uh, my dad called me this morning um, pretty early and let me know that my grandmother my abuelita finally passed away She's been sick for a long time, and I know her last few months were pretty miserable. So as sad as today is for us that love her, it's a pretty happy day for her, I would imagine. Um, anyway, my day is completely shot. I had it all planned out, what I wanted to do, and calls I needed to have, and things I needed to do, and... You just get like a punch in the gut. <laughs> you can't really do much else. So um, Parker's the sweetest. He's like, I'm leaving work. I'm coming, I'm gonna take you to lunch and uh, we're just gonna stay busy. You know, stay busy, stay busy. And it's kind of lame. The timing is so lame because tomorrow is my um, meet and greet with you guys at JCPenney. And um, it's lame timing because I'm sad, but I know it's perfect timing in God's plan because you guys are gonna fill my love tank and you keep me strong and you encourage me and um, it's something to look forward to. So it's 11.30, um, I had my day all planned out. I told you guys I was gonna work and, and do all this stuff I needed to do, um, but uh, things change and you just gotta, you just, uh, <laughs> figure it out so today um we are going to go to the star um that is where the indoor training facility is for the dallas cowboys it's also where there's a bunch of restaurants it's a fun place it's a fun place <laughs> it's a fun place um so we're gonna go watch a high school football game there because uh parker's oldest daughter is in marching band so it'll be super fun especially because it's at that facility what am I doing with you guys? I apologize for the unflattering angles, the texture on my skin, the hormonal breakouts on my chin that ceased to leave my life. Um, so, rewind. Let me gather my thoughts. Today is a high school football game. Tomorrow is Parker's birthday. It's also the JCPenney event from one to four. And then Sunday, we're throwing him a birthday party with his brother, sister-in-law, and all five kids. Our four and his brother's one. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. His birthday is on Saturday, tomorrow, but we're going to celebrate him on Sunday um, because that's when I get the boys back and so like everyone's present, which it totally worked out kind of perfectly because I was going to make him work my event on his birthday. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, God's timing. Homeboy doesn't mess up, let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, um, so right now I'm just kind of hanging out, waiting for Parker to get here. We'll probably eat tacos or cheeseburgers, obviously, because that's happy food. <laughs> but I wanted to check in with you guys. I know I didn't vlog last weekend. Um, it's been a challenging uh, few weeks here. Um, with the health of Wesley and now this news about my grandma. I actually found out about it two weeks ago um, and it was kind of like one of those things where it's, like, it's only a matter of time, it's only a matter of time. And so after I got that news, I got more bad news and a lot of implications about that bad news and finally she passes away this morning. Um, it's been it's been stressful here. It's been stressful in terms of personal life, like financial decisions. Grown-up decisions, you guys, are literally the worst. <laughs> like, really bad. So it's been stressful with a lot of grown-up stuff. Once you, there are certain stages in your life where decisions are just a little bit harder than usual, like, 
uh, if you're going on to your second marriage, financial decisions are very scary. Um, if you are divorced and you've been divorced for a few years now, you always have to seek out legal counsel and see if, you know, your arrangement with your co-parent is still working for you, if it works for your new relationship, if you need to rewrite it. So like anytime there's financial stuff, legal stuff, attorneys and things like that involved, it's just it's not easy. It's not, you could have the best relationship with your co-parent and it's still stressful because you're talking about stuff that's yucky. Um, so it's just been one of those times where I can't figure out my medical care. Um, you know, I'm not a spring chicken. <laughs> Y'all know how many times I visit the doctor. I can't be paying out of pocket for that. So I'm trying to figure out my medical insurance. So again, I'm not complaining. Hashtag blessed. I'm so blessed. Um, I'm self-employed. I can take care of my family. However, because I am self-employed, there's a lot of other implications with like medical care and things like that. So it's just been one of those seasons. And you guys, if you've been around from the beginning, you know, September and October are my dark, are my dark months. They are, they're dark for me. They're dark because people die. They are dark because, um, you know, stuff happens. Um, my divorce happened in October. It's just not a fun time. And as much as I let it go, new stuff happens. <laughs> and uh, all I can do is stay um, open-minded and stay positive and always extract the lesson. And that's kind of what I've been doing. So I anticipate myself reaching burnout pretty soon. Um, and just taking a very, very, very long break. I don't know if it will be from, you know, vlogging. I don't know if it will be from content, but I really have to just hit that. You know, when your modem's not working and you hit the reset button and then everything else in your house stops working for like five minutes. <laughs> I feel like I need to do that. I need to focus. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about, um, our wedding. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about my insurance. I need to figure out what I'm going to do about lots of things. Um, we decided to pull the plug on our backyard, um, remodeling. Um, it was, it was big plans. I mean, we had already gotten the city permits and everything and, um, we just, just, uh, just to put a pin in it. <laughs> so, um, some of you might enjoy this vlog because I'm sad. <laughs> Others of you might not because I'm sad. So um, it's going to be a little bit of a tricky vlog uh, for me to uh, entertain you. But I don't sign up for vlogging only during the good times. And so today is a sad day. Um, but it's also a day where someone that I love so deeply finally got to rest. And so there's good parts to today. I'm looking forward to seeing my bonus baby in her uniform, playing her bassoon, <laughs> um, and just not being sad. <laughs> Maybe remembering my grandma, and just honoring her in some way. Maybe I'll bamboozle Parker into taking me to church <laughs> and lighting a little candle for her. Today I was reminded how fragile life is, you know? The fragility of life, even if you anticipate something happening, even if you are prepared, you're not really. Um, you're not ready to not see someone again for the rest of your life. And so as sad as it is, it's also such a beautiful reminder that tomorrow's not guaranteed, that life is fleeting, and that existing is very fragile. It's here today and it's gone tomorrow. So if you're holding on to something that burns you, that etches a hole in your heart, that hurts you, that feels like weight, dead weight that you're just carrying around, maybe you should let it go. Just think about it. Think about, you know, if something were to happen tomorrow and um, your life isn't promised, your life isn't guaranteed, your life is cut short, have you wasted any of that time holding on to something that really didn't serve a purpose? <sighs> anyway, instead of me getting all super hyper emotional on you guys, as per usual, 
I'm gonna show you an outfit of the day and then um, I'm gonna go eat and you get to see my handsome fiance with this beard. Yes, it's back you guys. It is back for fall and winter and as long as I can convince him to keep it. Do you guys wanna say hi to Wesley? Struggle bus over here, struggle bus. This little guy, he just can't shake it off. We can't figure it out. But you know what? Out of all my four dogs, it's so funny. Each of them has taught me one of the most valuable lessons. For Wesley, the lesson he's taught me is you can choose happiness. Despite his ailments and how bad he feels, because you could see on his skin, <laughs> you know, um, the way he feels, the way he's eating or not eating, you can you can tell he doesn't feel good and yet every day of his entire 12 years of existence he chooses to be happy he chooses to smile and to wag his tail and to greet you with so much happiness um it's just it's so funny to me that a dog can teach you such a big lesson you know like a dog that can't talk is teaching his mama that you choose to be happy. Isn't that beautiful? It's totally beautiful. For Mern, it's forgiveness. Uh, Mern came from a really abusive background. Um, she was battered and beaten and abused and she could not be around men. She was extremely violent and aggressive. Um, she was scared. Um, and through time and through healing and through showing her her value and loving her and respecting her, She's learned to forgive. And no matter how poorly you've been treated, you can still heal your heart and move on, you know? So it's, 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 it's crazy. They're dogs, they can't talk. <laughs> Did I say that already? They're dogs, they can't talk, and they teach us lessons every day. Maybe I'll share the Topo and Sophia's lesson later in this vlog, because I think this vlog might be short. But then every time I say that, the vlog ends up being just the same movie, movie length. <laughs> anyway, outfit of the day. <laughs> Wasn't I gonna say hi to Wesley? <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, Bunks. <laughs> See his tail? Bunks. Wesley. Oh my goodness. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> here. You see, he doesn't feel good. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that paw. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Do you want some scratches? Do you want some scratches? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Who's my sweet boy? You're so my sweet boy. I love you terribly. I do, I do. All right, you guys, prepare to be amazed with my amazing outfit of the day. Of course, I'm wearing the local look from JCPenney. I love this chambray shirt. Don't tell your friends, don't judge me, but the reason I love this shirt so much is because it's the only chambray shirt, and you guys know I have like 17, that I can wash and dry and don't have to iron. <laughs> this is the only chambray shirt I own that I can wash and dry and don't have to iron. Isn't that brilliant? I love it. <laughs> and then I'm wearing my little um, animal print jeans. These are mid-rise. They are stretchy. Um, I don't know, it's like a giraffe print or some sort of print, but I love these. I love the length too. It'd be super cute with wedges or um, booties, like fall booties. Um, and then let me show you guys this. So I made the mistake to walk into a JCPenney the other day um, just to look at the local look fixture and see like the printouts and stuff like that. And I found this. So this is the mama to the backpack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> now you want it. So I'm putting it next to it just for like a size comparison. But this tote is actually reversible. Um, I like this because it could be like your diaper bag, it could be your gym bag, it could be your laptop bag for work. It is reversible, but on the inside it's just like a plain black. Um, it is vegan leather. It looks like actual leather, which is super cool, but I mean, I fully intend to never reverse it. And then, let me show you guys on. Could you imagine if I went out with this much animal print? <laughs> So you guys know I'm 5'10 and a half, so I'm almost six feet tall, and that's kind of how big the bag is. 
But isn't that cool? I saw it and I literally <laughs> shrieked. Barker! And he's like, you know, this is a public place, right? <laughs> Can you get that for me? It was on a mannequin that was on top of a table. Um, and it was the only one in the entire store. So I think I may have purchased the floor sample. <laughs> Hashtag no regrets. Um, and so uh, it was 40% off. I don't know what it is with JCPenney or I don't know how they make a profit, but they usually have a really good coupon deal happening. So if you guys have been able to get any of these local look items, I really hope you got a discount. <laughs> but yeah, this bag, isn't that cool? I am in love with it. I think this might be a good occasion for me to say I'm obsessed. Anyway, I'm also hungry, so we gotta go. Hey you guys, look who rescued me. Beard and all. So um, he was like, do you wanna go to In-N-Out? Remember I told you, cheeseburgers or tacos? Guess where we are. Uh, you guys, this place is the best. It's, it is the best. It's the best. It's I've been amazing. dreaming about the shrimp tacos. You're never disappointed when you come. <laughs> never. <laughs> never. Even like the least favorite things we've tried are still good. It's like, I don't want to take if any can't chances decide. on a meal. Yeah. <laughs> so, we got the elote bite. This is deep fried, the little bundles of corned love. Oh, they're so good. And then they have this like sweet and sour, delicious, spicy dipping sauce. And then we have um, Cajun fries. These, if you guys have ever been to rallies in California, that's kind of what the texture is on the outside. Um, but then you get like a spicy dipping sauce and then like a ranch. But these are so good, we have to get two. Oh, look, here we go. Thank you for that demo. <laughs> See the inside, it has like jalapeno, it's like creamy, uh, roasted corn. You see the roasting on the corn? Kind of awesome. So um, we're still waiting for our tacos. This is the face of someone that has cried. Um, we got the po' boy taco, which is our number one favorite here. If I could just eat one taco from this restaurant for the rest of my life, wouldn't you agree? Oh, yeah, the po' boy taco? So it's uh, Excuse me, flour tortilla. Excuse me, one taco for the rest of your life. That <laughs> I think it's me. What's your one taco for the rest of your life? Oh god, I don't even think about having just one taco for the rest of my life. Hello, the answer is easy. <laughs> We're the worst. And this is a taco that will change your life. Let me introduce you to happiness. So it has fried shrimp, pickles, corn tortilla, cabbage. This I think is a sriracha cream sauce, I think. Let's double check. Um, sriracha remoulade, yeah, yeah, same thing. And then some tomatoes. It's as delicious as it looks. Hey, you guys, a little bit before 3.30. Um, it's been a day. I'm having a bad hair day today. I'm kind of having a bad attitude day, so things aren't very cool. However, something just arrived on my doorstep which turned my frown upside down. It's kind of sweet. You want to see? This one, this one arrived on my doorstep. Oh, hello, Mern. Oh, hello, Mern. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, you're so pretty. Say hi to your friends. Hey, say hi to your friends. Come here. All right, ignore me. Do whatever you want. All right. Look how pretty. Oh, oh my goodness. I got these flowers from the team at JCPenney. Isn't that sweet? I don't know what to say when people do stuff like this for me. It's just, it's um, a really sweet reminder. You know, it's very humbling. It's like, wow, people like this still exist that um, reach out to you um, in your times of need. Um, and then it also humbles you because you're like, well, I mean, I have this amazing opportunity with JCPenney. It's like that reminder of, let's focus on the good stuff. You know, look at the bright side, count your blessings. So anyway, 3.30, we have to go pick up Bonus Baby Junior um, and then come home. They're gonna change um, and head over to the game and then I'll head over there later around seven. So um, we'll have to find something to do for a few hours and then go pretend to watch a football game for a little bit. <laughs> I guess at this point in my life, is it like too late to even learn about football? <laughs> Maybe. What do you think, Bern? Do you know about football? You wanna teach me about football? Are you ready for Mama to leave you again? What do you think? Or you can just ignore me, as per usual. Hey, you guys. I'm back at you with my ratchet hair, bad hair day. What is going on with my hair today? 
just doesn't want to cooperate. Um, and I'm surprised because it's clean. It's just trying to live its best life, I guess. It's a little bit after 7. Kickoff was at 7. But let's be honest, I'm just going for the halftime show. It's funny because I thought, you know, moving to Texas, you're going to become a football girl. Like, you have to. Everyone's a football family. <laughs> get the double chin for that for that expression um okay so Parker is a band parent so he's doing the whole band thing uh bonus baby junior is um volunteering for help during halftime um but she doesn't have to stay the whole game so our master plan is I'm meeting them they already left they left an hour ago excuse me okay you guys I may have accidentally fallen asleep on the couch. <laughs> I may have accidentally fallen asleep on the couch. I didn't know I was tired and I was like, well, I have 45 minutes to kill so I'm just going to sit here with the Merns and pa pass out, apparently. Um, okay, so they left at 6. Um, I'm leaving now at 7. Um, after half show I'm gonna take bonus baby junior with me home and I'll see Parker like tomorrow um, he won't probably get home until like midnight um, so that's that plan and then if I have I shouldn't overdo it I was gonna say if I have the energy after that we'll go grocery shopping because there's a bunch of stuff I need to get for Sunday's Parker's birthday party extravaganza. Um, but I also, I had a pretty rough day today and I know that when I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to be puffy and splotchy most likely. And tomorrow I need to look bright eyed and bushy tailed like a plump spring chicken. So that's gonna be a hard swing. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a video on it. How to hide the fact that you had a very sad day the day before, but then you have to do a public appearance the day after and miss your exit. Holy moly, come on, Danny, get it together, woman. Um, I literally just passed my exit. You guys, I wish I was one of those like evil can evil drivers that you see like on memes and stuff where they're like, Rrr! and they don't care, but I'm not. I'm like, I'll just go back around and come back and waste seven miles of extra driving. So, yeah, if I have the energy and I need to get distracted and I want to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with my bonus baby junior, then we'll go um, haul some groceries. Um, otherwise, we'll just go straight home and go to bed. And then tomorrow is a big, 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 big day. Oh, my God. There is a lot of traffic. I hope I can find parking. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, there's enough parking there. There's literally no one ever there. Don't worry. You, don't, you can leave now. I forgot it was Friday. I forgot it's happy hour. And I forgot that everyone likes to star. Bad advice, Danny, bad advice. Oh my God, it's like really sending me all the way down to like Arizona. <laughs> Wait, Arizona? Yeah, whatever, you guys. Anyway, that's it. That's it, that's all I gotta say for you today. That's all I got for you today. Today is a football game and then going home and that's it, but tomorrow's gonna be an exciting day. I'm gonna ask um, maybe someone on the JCPenney team or maybe Parker to vlog a little bit for me while I'm doing um, the event. Um, maybe I'll like kind of uh, entrap some of you guys and then put you in my vlog. Um, so that's gonna be exciting, but I'm looking forward to that tomorrow's a new day You know a good night's sleep always makes me feel better the next day. So Looking forward to going to bed and crashing. Maybe I'll have Sophia sleep with me. She's like my um, She's my emotional support dog <laughs> Oh my god, you guys the night Sophia got me through when I was in the middle of my divorce Anyway, that's it. That's it for now. Um, I need to focus. I'm vlogging and I'm so excited I'm like I'm hanging out with my friends so I missed my exit and now I'm all the way in Mexico and I have to find my way back. My sunglasses are flying everywhere. Oh my gosh, y'all. Anyway, I gotta go. See ya later.
me turn down my music. Um, today is the big day. I can't remember the last time I slept this long. I went to bed around nine and I woke up at eight and I didn't wake up with the howling of four dogs, which was weird. So it was definitely one of those nights where the stars all line up and allow mama to get a good night's sleep. So I am bright eyed and bushy tailed. I'm ready to go. I'm about to do my makeup. It's about 10 o'clock, 10 o' 10, 10 o' 10, 10 o' 10. 10 to 10. Apparently I'm really good, good and ready to go for this event. Okay. It's 10, 10. I have to be there at 12 30. Parker already picked out his outfit. He's adorable. <laughs> he helped me pick out mine. And we were so conflicted because I was like, should I wear an outfit that I already, um, put together? Like from the pictures you guys have been seeing? Um, don't look at my hair. It's all that crispy hairspray. <laughs> crispy. Do you see how soft it is? But see how it holds the shape? This is the magical Dove hairspray I was telling you guys about. So it's soft, but it holds its shape. It's weird, you guys. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of voodoo magic in there. Okay, so um, we were having this debacle of do we wear an outfit that's already been put together or do we give people options and create new outfits with the pieces that we've already selected? Which me, the way my brain works, that would have been a lot more instructional. Um, but at the same time, the store will have fixtures with the outfits put together. So if they could see it on a live model, model, <laughs> me, um, then um, it might be a little more encouraging to be like, oh yeah, I want that and I want that and I want this, you know? So I think what I'm gonna do is just wear two outfits that I've already, um, put together and then change halfway through just to give, you know, a different look, different options. Can we talk about the redness I've been suffering recently? It's just this hypersensitivity in this area right here for some reason. I, I think it's hormonal, I don't know. I thought like red around the nostrils was hormonal, but I have splotchy skin. And I haven't been using anything out of the ordinary, but do you guys see that? like splotchiness. I wonder if it's just like nerves, like I'm just nervous. Who knows? Anyway, so we're about to get ready. I'm going to do my makeup. I think I'm going to do the same makeup I did when I took the pictures with Rosie, um, which is um, the Naked Heat palette and Hitchhike from Urban Decay. I kind of wanted to do a little more of a burgundy look. Not so much orange or copper, but more of a burgundy look. So I don't know, I'll see what I come up with and then I'll check in and be like, this is my makeup of the day. If you guys can tell me what's going on with my skin in the comments, that would be great. I love you. Hey you guys, two hours later, we did this. Um, I was gonna use the Naked Heat, but then I realized I'm gonna wear that blush tone blouse that I picked from the collection. So I wanted to do something that could sway either reddish, berry, burgundy to a little bit of a burnt terracotta shade. So we did this. I busted out an oldie but a goodie. This is probably in my top three favorite palettes. But when I took it out, I didn't realize it was broken. Like, this is, it's, now it's, now it's like a like a book. Um, I don't remember if, I think this is permanent. I don't think it's limited edition. Um, I might just get a backup. Okay, I'll just glue it, you guys, fine, I'll just glue it. But anyway, I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette. I did a little bit of burnished bronze on my lid. That's a Laura Mercier caviar stick. But then on top of that, um, everything else is, is Modern Renaissance. So I have, <gasps> oh, no! been a murder oh there's been a crime oh gosh that could have been a big big problem but nothing broke how crazy is that all right so I have tempera right here on my brow bone highlight then I have um, antique bronze on the lid I have burnt orange right here on the transition shade but I mixed it with one fresco so it's sort of like a cool and warm combo um, and then I have red ochre right here. That's my crease color. So I don't know, I'm kind of digging it. Kind of like what it looks like. Um, my eyes are a little glassy. I'm gonna have to hide the fact that I was crying yesterday. Um, I think I've done a pretty good job. All that white concealer <laughs> is really doing its job. So I tried this lip product. 
a little bit ago and I liked it but I don't remember it like changing my life so today because I wanted to layer lip products because I can't reapply when I'm at the meet and greet I always layer products so I'll do a stain then I do a lip liner then I do a lipstick and that usually ensures that regardless how much I smile how much I talk how many pictures I take the layers st sort of like start to disappear the last thing left is a stain and so it always looks like you have a lip color on so I was like okay I'm gonna start the layering process I have about an hour um, so I used the Buxom Cereal Kisser in Makeout. This is a lip stain that I'm wearing right now. And I think this is all I'm gonna use. It's so easy to apply. It has a really comfortable texture. It feels almost like you're wearing a lip balm, um, but it's a stain as well. So I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave that on and not put anything else on and just put it in my pocket. And if I start to eat at it and it wears away, which it shouldn't because it's a stain, um, then I just have it ready to go. But yeah, that's it. And I'm gonna go in this Mickey Mouse pajama. Just kidding. Anyway, I gotta go change. Probably should eat something, but I'll check in later. Bye. Hey guys. We're walking into our second home. Super excited. I finally have the nerves. The nerves that sit in where I'm like, <gasps> I get to squeeze you guys in person. I'm so excited. Are you excited? We're all very excited. Look how handsome he looks. JC Penny. I was like, I'm sorry, is this a meet and greet Parker? <laughs> you guys, it's his birthday. Just blending into the background. How sweet is that? That's his birthday. I'm 27 years old. <laughs> who's older? <laughs> I told you guys that story, right? Like, um, who's older? They said, what's your age difference? I said, eight years. And then people ask, who's older? I'm like, you mothers. <laughs> all right, you guys, this is it. We're going in. And we're gonna come out with our love tank full. You ready? Let's do this. Look at this, you guys. Who's that girl with orange lipstick? Do you know her? Because she's gonna be here later today from one to four. It's me. Do you guys remember when um, I was walking in and I said, I'm ready for today because I know I'm gonna leave with my heart full? I've been here for like 30 seconds. I met Gina and Jennifer and my heart is already overflowing. So I wanted them to say hi to you guys because in just a minute, they were able to make a difference in my life. So I think they deserve a little. Hi, hi guys. And they're wearing animal print, you guys. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> So um, we're neighbors apparently yeah. and uh, they were here since 11 o'clock. I feel like I need to buy them like dinner. <laughs> Do you guys want to say hi? <laughs> oh my gosh you guys, let me show you a little behind the scenes of what this whole thing looks like. I didn't know they were going to put my face on everything. So it's a little bit like assault with a deadly face situation <laughs> happening. So let me show you. Jennifer's going to model for us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So they have signage everywhere, and then they printed these um, photos of me wearing the outfits, captions, I'm actually wearing these later today, which is exciting. Look, my outfit of the day today. How cool is that? All the animal print action happening everywhere. Look how crazy that is. It's like my face is everywhere, you guys. Look at this. I didn't know this purse came in gray. I kind of need it in gray now too. Isn't that cool? Like a cool town? And then, look at that. That's me! And that's me again! How cool is that? I'm so excited, you guys. This is gonna be my favorite caption of the whole collection. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are at Danny's event. It hasn't even started yet, and people are starting to walk in and line up, and it's really cool because you just kind of feel the energy starting to amp up around. People are looking, stopping, wondering what's going on. So this is really cool. I think we're going to have a great turnout. Danny's already having a great time and met some really special people already. So we're excited. Stay tuned.
guys, this is a takeover by the P. Here we are, we're about two minutes from the start. Actually, we're getting started right now. Danny's getting ready, get her jiggle on. Moving in, it's crazy how many people are actually showing up. It's really exciting. Danny's turning me loose with the camera, so I'm just having all kinds of fun. Wow, the amount of people that are showing up is crazy. It's surreal when you look around and you see people lined up to meet your fiance. How lucky am I? I'm very proud of her. green room. <laughs> they forced me to take a break. Is there a potty? Oh, super. I need to go pee, you guys. Anyway, so they kept asking me, go take a break, go take a break, go take a break. And I was like, no, I can't leave. I keep saying hi to you guys. Like, everyone's here. We were shopping and hanging out and stuff. So they're forcing me to take a break right now. I just ate some grapes, you guys. Got some flowers. Look at this. I got this amazing bracelet from my friend Gina. Um... God is so good, you know. My grandmother passed away yesterday and I didn't think I was gonna take it as hard as I did. But I knew I had today to look forward to and I am overjoyed, I am overflowing with so much love and humility that you guys bring me. It's, it's absolutely bonkers. We still have one more hour to go, but I wanted to check in with you guys and I know so many of you are here in spirit. It's been such a great experience. Um, I may have to do some additional shopping, just saying. <laughs> but this lip color, this lip color is amazing. I'm gonna link it for you guys. It's one of my new favorites. I think I'm not gonna stop wearing this during the fall. <sighs> so my plan was to change, um, to wear a different outfit to just kind of give a new vibe um, for the whole thing. But this is on the very first mannequin when you walk into the store, so I'm like, I think like this is just the signature look for the whole collection, you know? <laughs> anyway, I have to go potty and then I have to go back out. And then this handsome man keeps walking into the room. <laughs> He's doing so, so well, you guys. Like people are coming up saying hi to him, taking pictures with him, it's adorable. I'm like, hmm. Are you guys taking appropriate pictures? Or cause he's got oh, oh. I'm gonna have my own spin-off channel here. Just wait. <laughs> No, the that will never the family Parker. <laughs> <laughs> the family Chantel. You know. <laughs> hey, say good morning to your friends. Say good morning to your friends. Why are you being so rude? Is there something you want on the counter? Is it? Does it look like this? Is that what you want? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. This is your vitamin. You gotta wait. You gotta wait. I know it's good, but you gotta wait. Is that what you want too? Yeah. What about you? Is that what you want? Ma'am. Ma'am. Wait. Nice. 
Good girl. Well, there's one for you. Oh, hold on a second. No. No. Move. Nice. Back up. Back up. There's for you. Oh, that's a good boy. Hey, you gotta get down. Not everything's Mern time. Mern time all the time. Stop acting like your mama. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, you're so little. Hi, princess. Hi, little princess. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. Good morning. This is how amazing my hair looks when you sleep on it. Holy moly, look at that. It is super butt crack dawn early. Um, apparently we woke up like at five today just for kicks. Um, it's right now six o'clock. Right now it's six o'clock. Um, I have so much stuff that I need to do and for some reason I thought waiting to the last minute was gonna be the best plan ever. So I have to make beans from scratch ceviche and tacos all of those recipes are on my channel already um, I'll link them down below but the meat takes four to six hours the beans take at least three the ceviche is gonna take at least four so if I don't prep everything in the next like 30 minutes we're not gonna be eating at one o'clock which is when Parker's birthday party extravaganza is so <sighs> I'm so tired from yesterday like, this is gonna make me sound like a total douche canoe, but like smiling and standing, <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> Not hard, exhausting. Um, it was just such a fun day. So, so fun. I may have shopped the event as well. Um, I got an extra pair of those slit in the front jeans. Oh my gosh. a a is my favorite JCPenney brand. All of their stuff is amazing. The white t-shirt still sold out like nationwide, which is crazy. Um, and then I also got, do you guys remember that olive green? That's my oven. Do you guys remember the olive green off the shoulder sweater I got? Apparently they have it in rust too. It's like this dark, dark, dark harvest pumpkin orange. It's so pretty. Anyway, I gotta get started with this stuff. So let me show you. I got two um, chuck loaves. I think each of these is probably two pounds, um, if I'm not mistaken, almost three. So I got two of these. We have some raw shrimp for the ceviche and then just some random prep. These beans, you guys, if you guys are fans of pinto beans, don't try these because it'll ruin pinto beans for the rest of your life. These are awesome. Um, I just prep them the same way I do pintos, which is I boil them with an onion, jalapeno, a bunch of cilantro, and then add salt at the very end, and they're amazing. Um, very creamy um, and delicious, and they don't give you some side effects like pinto beans <laughs> if you catch my drift. <laughs> hey, Mern. You guys, I have to tell you something. Mern, for the last two days, has been a sassy magoo. She has been doing what she wants. She doesn't come when I call her. She just, she's a brat. She's a little snot face. And look at her right now. Isn't she giving me like teenage girl vibes? Like, ugh. Like, ugh, I hate you, mom. Mm-hmm. She's a bad mamma jamma. Yeah, you are. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Can I, can you get like a little tail wag? Can you get a tail wag? What's going on over here? She needs a bath. Are you stinky pants? He didn't feel good, my poor boy. Just a little bad. Just a little bad. <laughs> All right, y'all, I gotta get started, but I wanted to make sure that you guys were able to see how amazing I look in the morning, so you're welcome. <laughs> Sweet boy, 
Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boy. Hi, sweet boys. Hi, sweet boys. Yeah. <laughs> You're so ridiculous. I think this is like your favorite present ever. <laughs> Happy birthday to you.